economics, the, the naked truth. Uh, I discovered this. Uh, I discovered this this graphic on the internet, and I thought I'd bring it along rather than demonstrate it personally. <laughs> uh, what I want to do is really take the opportunity to demystify not so much economics, because I think there are several different approaches to economics. I want to demystify economists, and along the way, uh, demystify the standard economic approaches which inform the policy recommendations which we hear over and over and over again in the last several weeks, and I think Coming up to the budget, we'll be hearing a good deal more from not only economists, uh, but also politicians who are acting out of the conventional wisdom which has been partially created by economists. There are a number of different views of economics. A lot of these views are held simultaneously by the same people. Uh, there's one view of economics. It's the view that economists are probably most sympathetic themselves to, which is uh, that economics is somehow a science. It's somehow a science in the same way that chemistry or physics or biology is a science. A second view has economics involved with a lot of arcane mathematics, uh, a lot of graphs, charts, numbers, and things that the ordinary person wouldn't be able to understand, really. It's all just too arcane and too complicated. Uh, here's another version of that, uh, the uh, Simpsons version of economics. But this is also quite common, that there's something mystical about it, uh, that there's, there's a kind of, again, arcane science involved and the ordinary person doesn't really have access to it. Uh, I want to concentrate on this picture for a minute. Economists, in their training, are taught that, in fact, economics is a science, and that the economist's involvement with numbers do in the process of investigating the economy. Essentially what they do is they take the mathematical models which they learned at university and test them against data which they download from the internet by and large. Uh, now that's a little bit unfair, but it, it's not completely unfair. Uh, you will never find an economist in an auto factory examining how capital and labor are brought together to actually produce automobiles. You will never find an economist talking to an executive and finding out how executive decisions are made in terms of how, what kind of price to put on things. Uh, you will never find an economist examining the political process which results in decisions about the levels of taxation. The first of these assumptions, you'll remember from Mrs. Thatcher, which is there's no such thing as society. Uh, this was uh, one politician's nasty personal philosophy. But, it, but it's that people act in their own self-interest. This very simple assumption is what's supposed to make economic activity predictable. And if we took into account all of the messy motivations that people actually have in their everyday lives, this would somehow undermine the scientific character of the subject. Again, uh, very much a blind spot. Any motivation which is not uh, self-interest uh, is not taken account. Finally, there's the invisible hand. The invisible hand is what happens in markets, according to economic science. All of these self-interested, individually motivated actions are somehow guided 
by an invisible hand in order to produce an outcome which is not selfish but beneficial to everybody. If you just grow, that is, what's the origin of this particular peculiar view of the economy? One of the things about a social science is that it's not possible to do social science from the outside. Social scientists are always inside of the society that they're studying. And the study always, whether they're conscious of it or not, proceeds from a particular social standpoint. But these assumptions are precisely the understanding of society that got us into the mess uh, that we're in today. A denial of collective activity, a denial of collective interests has led to the weakening of labor organization and the subjecting of everybody's income uh, to a strict market determination. 